So you might recognize this oval sign that's often called a cartouche today. But do you know this one that looks very similar, but round? Well, that's what we'll get into today. So the oval ring that you might recognize as what we today call a cartouche is actually an elongated version of this ring, which was the original sign. Today we call this a Shen ring because it can be used as a logogram or determinative in the word Shenu, which means circuit, ring, circle, or to encircle. And it references the sun's encircling or its circuit that it does every day. So in other words, basically encompassing the whole world. And in addition to this solar association, it also had a kind of protective association as well. Now, because of symbolizing all of that the sun encircles each day, the Shen ring came to refer to the king's rule over everything that the king encircled. In other words, the whole world. And it was used to encircle two of the king's names, his throne name and his birth name. And this is the elongated version that we tend to call a cartouche today, although that is an entirely modern term, not an ancient Egyptian one. Now, over time, this elongated form that held the king's name became more of a simple marker for these two royal names. And by the late Middle Kingdom, it started to be used even for other royal family members, particularly for royal women at that time, and then later on for some royal children as well. And because of the close association with the king's name, it even started to be used in place of the word name, that is Ren, sometimes when talking specifically about the king's name. And in the next video, we'll take a look at the other name that appears inside a cartouche, that is the birth name. I'll see you there.